London. Oh my god. They're beating each other up this morning. Anyways, so I just want to let all of you guys know that dieting isn't always plus. It's not always going to be happy. Um, you're going to be miserable. You're not going to be full. You're going to be tired. You slept 10 hours, 9 hours, 8 hours. You're still tired. It happens. So my first week on the program I'm doing, I lost 8 pounds. And then Sunday I got back on the scale. I was so excited. I was like, yes, I'm going to lose like maybe like another 5 or 6. I lost 2 pounds. But it's okay, I'm just, you know, it just goes with the flow. I'm ahead of where I wanna be. I want, my goal is to lose three pounds a week. So right now I should have lost six pounds and I lost 10 pounds in two weeks, so that's a positive. Um, but for this week, all I did is I took out all my complex carbs, so I'm not eating my cream of rice anymore. I'm not eating my sweet potatoes and I'm not eating my bagel. I gave the rest of them to the dogs though. <laughs> I wasn't just gonna throw them out. Um, so yeah, so sometimes you have to trick your body. So hopefully my plan is, is to take out all my complex carbs so my body can kind of go into a shock, um, lose that weight, and then introduce them back in slowly. I still play around with my body. Um, it takes a long time to figure out your body and what it needs. If you're a high fats person, low carbs person, or if you're a high carbs person, low fat person. Sometimes I still don't know. Sometimes my body does great on high carbs and low fats. Sometimes my body does great on high fats and low carbs. It just depends of how long it wants to keep in that cycle. And it's just a guess and check game, basically. While I'm letting you guys know that I only lost two pounds last week, I also wanna go over three different body types. Um, each person has um, one of the three body types. There's ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph. Um, I kind of remember them by how they go. So mesomorph, which I am definitely not, um, they maintain a lot of muscle super easily. They're well built. Excuse me. <laughs> I have to cut it. <laughs> um, so can I just like go in and write talking? Okay, cool. Um, they're well built. They have a super high metabolism. So those are the people that like, they have a really nice definition. They can eat whatever they want. It goes in, it comes out. They can chug a six pack of beer. They can have a slice of cake. They can eat whatever they want. And the next day their six pack is still rocking. Like they didn't touch anything different. I hate those people. Congratulations, he's back. <laughs> also, there is an endomorph. I'm an endomorph. Um, I have a pear-shaped body. It's okay, they already know you're here. <laughs> I have a pear-shaped body. My body stores fat uh, like it's its job. It's very hard for me to get it away. I am strong, which is really nice, so that kind of that kind of helps me in that perspective. I get that part from my dad. That's genetics right there. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I am an endomorph and I feel like most people who have problems with weight loss are definitely endomorphs. Um, so I'm sorry, but we just have to work harder, harder and harder and harder and then eventually we'll get there. Um, I definitely have to do more reading up on some endomorphs just because I do get frustrated. The only way my body tends to lose weight is if I go into diets for a prolonged period of time and I don't cheat, you know, basically what I'm doing now. And then my hardest part of my body is once I'm there is to keep it. Like I said, I gain fat really easily. I can look at a cupcake, I can look at a muffin and I'll gain 10 pounds. And it'll take me two weeks to put it back off. So it sucks. So those books, um, so each different book on your body type can tell you how to lose weight a certain way? So yeah. They're all different? Yeah, you can get them at like Borders, you can get them on Amazon. It's really great because I actually, one of my views, if they get up to a thousand, I actually want to give you guys out um, a free exercise and diet plan so you guys can get into that summer body that you want. And it's going to be about um, a 60 day shred I'm going to do for you guys. And, you know, if you guys want to pick up those books to help you out, go for it.
<laughs> okay guys, hey. So today we're gonna do my second favorite body part to work out and we're gonna kill the chest today. So what I have going on is I have inclined dumbbell presses. We're gonna do four sets of 12 to 15 reps. I have a chest press machine. We're gonna go a little bit heavier on that. I have four sets of 10 to 12, whatever I can bust out there. We're gonna go into flat bench dumbbell press. That's four sets of 12 reps. Then we're gonna go to incline dumbbell flies. That's four sets of 15. And then we're gonna do some push-ups to failure, which is three sets. I'm probably gonna get like three push-ups. <laughs> All right, we're gonna kill it. I'm gonna start with the incline dumbbell press. Now, for my first set, I'm just gonna do a warm-up, so it's gonna be a little bit lighter. And then from there on out, I'm gonna push myself and go heavier and heavier and heavier. Jordan's gonna be my spotter. Just kidding, Jordan's not gonna be my spotter. <laughs> he goes, nah. Take off your shoes and get on the floor. You gotta work that. Work that. Grab the one right near to you. You gotta work that. Work that. Like you do. Get up the fire and turn up the gas. Work that. Work that. Tight little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're going into chest press. Um, some gyms that you guys might go to, they usually have it where you sit up straight and you push straight out. This gym is super fancy, so they have one that lays down and I'm gonna push up instead. I just played with it a little bit. I really like it, it's cool. It's a different feel, it's awesome. Now we're gonna move on to dumbbell flat bench press. During chest, mm, I feel like chest is overlooked, especially in a lot of women. Um, don't skip your chest. It's just as important as every other body part that you have. You wouldn't see a jack guy walking around with skinny legs. You do see that, but that's not a good thing. You don't wanna see that. Don't skip legs, don't skip chest, don't skip back. Don't be afraid of growing your body parts. Just because you're lifting weight, again, I have to rant about this. It doesn't mean you're gonna get bulky. It doesn't mean you're gonna get huge. You're gonna get nice and toned. It'll even help your boobies a little bit. Maybe even raise them up. <laughs> So this is day number four without any type of carbs in my system. Like I said, all of my complex carbs have been taken out. So there's no more of that. The closest thing I'm getting to carbs right now is blueberries. And I kind of, I consider those um, a sugar, natural sugar. So um, I'm a little weak today. I definitely feel it. I feel tired. I feel fatigued. Uh, but you can't be afraid to fail. You just have to keep pushing. You have to keep going. There are going to be some days where you're halfway through your workout and you're like, I feel like complete and utter doo-doo. <laughs> but you gotta keep pushing it or else you're not gonna get better. You're not gonna push yourself. You're not gonna be better than you were last week. You have to remember things like that. <laughs> so we're gonna go into incline dumbbell flies. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do four sets of 12 of these. 10 to 12 as much as you can get. Remember, push yourself, go as heavy as you can. Your chest should be burning by now. It should be hard to finish the workout. If you're not tired halfway through your workout, you gotta push yourself more, because you should be tired. I'm done. I've been complaining to Jordan now for the past like 20 minutes that my chest is and he has to listen to it. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Last set of the chest workout today, 
we're gonna go into a setup push-ups until failure. Failure until you can't do anymore. I don't care if you get one, you fail. I don't care if you get two, you fail. I don't care if you get five, 10, you go until you fail. You go until you bring yourself down and you cannot push yourself back up. Got that? All right. <laughs> Headphones are out, workout's out. <laughs> All right, it's summertime, it's super hot out. I know I've been getting a text and messages from a lot of you guys saying, I wanna see more cooking. So I'm gonna show you how to make protein ice cream. All right, hey guys, so yesterday I had a little issue. Um, I tried to make protein ice cream for you guys, but I ran out of ice cubes. I only had three, so it just turned into a protein shake. So, try to. Bears got me today. Jordan is home, so here we go. Um, all you're gonna need is you're gonna need a blender, a ninja, whatever you have that works. Nutribullet just needs to grind up the ice. I have um, silk almond milk, vanilla, unsweetened of course, and then I have your whey protein powder. It's gonna be 100% whey. Now the best time to consume this is gonna be after a workout. Uh, that's what really builds your muscle and helps the recovery. Um, no more than 30 minutes after should you be consuming this. I, anywhere between 20 grams and 40 grams of protein is good. Two scoops is clearly 40, one scoop is 20. I only use one scoop for now. Um, my flavor of ice cream is gonna be blueberry toaster pastry. This brand, um, it's really, really good. I have tried two of their flavors in the past. It was like cereal milk, and do you remember the other one? Peanut butter Peanut or something? Peanut butter or something. It was not good, it was not good. But um, this one seemed enticing, and this is the best flavor I've had in a long time from any protein brand. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the ice tray, and you're gonna fill the ice cubes all the way up to the max fill line, okay? Now remember, you want um, the smallest container that your Nutribullet, your Ninja, whatever you have comes with it. You wanna use the smallest one. So um, after that, you're gonna fill it up with ice cubes all the way to the max fill line. You're gonna do one or two scoops of the protein powder. They're driving me insane. <laughs> one what? or two scoops of the protein powder. All right, you're just gonna put that in and then you're gonna add a touch of almond milk. I only fill the almond milk till about right there. Remember, you can always put more in it, you just can't take it away. Ugh. Now you got it. Success! You're gonna put it in, not success. Not success? It's crooked. Aww. Got it? All right, you're gonna blend it up. You know when you're starting to get, to get the right consistency, when you see it blending up and it's not spinning around like a shake, it's getting really choppy. And um, the more you hold it down, obviously the smoother it's gonna get. Churn. It's churning. That's I'm gonna weird. open it up and I'm gonna see how it looks. How are we looking oh, right now? Oh, yeah. It's starting to look really good. So you want it to be a really thick texture. It still has a little bit of ice cubes in it, so I'm gonna put it back on for a little bit. This time the lid will go on. This time the really? lid, the second time after you check it and it's smoothed out, the lid will just slide on, I promise. And it's so worth it fighting with the lid. <laughs> so now we have our protein ice cream. Woo, good summer treat. It's nice and smooth. There's no ice in it. It's really fine. It tastes just like a blueberry toaster strudel. It's amazing. So 
that's a nice tip I have for you guys for the summertime. It's great. If you like this video, remember to subscribe. Again, like always, Jordan will insert. Subscribe, comment, like, and give it a share if you wouldn't mind. All right, I'll catch you guys next week.